All right, I'm gonna take the rifle off of uh, his lap and I'm gonna be working on it down here. So I'm gonna put the uh, rifle, this is the other side of the rifle, I've gotta work on this side. I'm gonna do this in regular clay. It won't matter because quite honestly, the uh, clay I can paint over as well as uh, paint over this uh, super sculpty and make it look like clay. So I'm going to do that and get my phone out of the way. I can see that I got this in focus now. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. One of the things I want to do is work on this side just a little bit before I get started on the other. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put his hand on here and uh, how that's gonna affect the uh, wrinkles in the uh, sheath. Now I put this rag behind it to prop it up so I can see what I'm doing here. I guess I don't really have to worry about much about this area here, but I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. I got to put the rifle back on his lap to see what parts I have to sculpt because I don't want to over do all that because there's no need to if I don't have to it just takes time not when I don't need to take the time to do it okay All right, I've just uh, worked on the uh, flap. See, what the reason it's tied there is because he's taken a flap skin and bent it over. Now, I've got to make it look like it's been bent over. And I'm uh, going to do that right now. I'm going to make a as much of a line as I can to show that uh, that has been bent over or folded over the back of the uh, rifle but yeah Okay, I've got to make that look sharper. There we go.
All right, I ran some clay through the uh, pasta machine, but I'm thinking I got it on there too soon, and I'm going to have to take it off because I can't get the rifle through his arm with it on there. And I'll just have to see if I can work this out. Okay. Now I'll see if I can correct a mistake I just made. <sighs> yeah. That I can do. I, I took the fringe off. I, I didn't like it the way it was. So I'm going to do some shorter fringe and see how that looks. I don't want the fringe to dominate. If I even put fringe on it at all, I might just decide not to even do this. If I'm not gonna if I'm not gonna have fringe going all the way down, don't have it at all. So I'm taking it off. <clears throat> all right, time to paint it. Yeah, I cut a couple little areas I need to clean up first. Now, I'll be doing his hand, but uh, right now, I'm going to take the clay off there and paint underneath where the hand will go. Oh. Now, I've got many people who see me for the first time who don't know what I'm doing here, and I'm going to explain it as best I can. Uh, I went to a hardware store, True Value, and I got them to mix up some paint for me. 
and I gotta get some more done because this paint is uh, probably 10 years old <laughs> and it's it's outlived its usefulness and I'm gonna have to put this into a bowl By painting it, it looks like the clay. And that's the idea. If people look at a photograph of what I've done and they want to try to make a decision whether they want to buy a copy of it in bronze, the less, the least questions that they ask about what I made it with and from the better because I, I you know I want it to look like clay so it doesn't distract the eye of that person who is looking to purchase I'm not trying to fool them or anything it's just taking away a question that might uh, arise it's just called first impressions uh, you want a good impression when you go and apply for a job. Well, it's no different than what an artist does with his artwork. You want to make a good impression the first time they look at it. This is going to be the last thing I do today. And uh, I'll come back down tomorrow and uh, see how far I can get. He's going to be carrying a uh, handgun as well because they did. They had to have all the protection they could. It would have been a flintlock pistol or gun. I thought about doing just real short fringe on him. But uh, I decided not to. Let's see how it looks once I do the hand and all that stuff. All right, everybody. Have a great night, and uh, I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.